Hello, hi, how are you? Hey, today in this video, I want to talk to you about the lion's gate. There's a lot going on in this energy. Please watch my videos so that you could learn about the energies and what are the meanings because these are specific for twin flames. This isn't just some random fluffiness. We get specific because it affects us so deeply. So let's get right into it here. This lion's gate, and people are saying it's an 888 number. Uh, you know, eights are a completion and it has to do with money, but this is a very emotional one. This one is intended to awaken masculine energy. This energy is going to do, the words I got were upset the apple cart. Okay, what does that mean? This means upsetting the status quo upending things, shaking it up a little bit. Things cannot go as they always have been going, but it's more at a personal level. It's going to be for things that, how does it affect you personally? You know, um, a personal uh, thing that happened lately was my mother is doing Swedish death cleaning and somehow or other she thought I was not sentimental about any of the things in the house from relatives. She's the only one who has them because, frankly, some of those people, um, she got it by default because they wouldn't move it and she absorbed it, okay? They seem to not want it. Well, now some of it's considered nice stuff, you know? It's that nice grand millennial stuff, right? And so somehow we got in a conversation and this came to light. And she was like, well, I didn't think you were sentimental about anything. I got to understand, my mother is the most powerful woman in the universe. How can I stand up to her, right? And I was like, you could give me first pick. And right there, break a pattern. Okay, break the assumptions, break the pattern. Now, that's something small. When this involves money, this is going to involve some really deeply rooted things inheritances, houses, stock market. Right now as I'm doing this video, the stock market is tanking. Now, not everything's going to be a tragedy, okay? But, you know, the status quo, this is what happens. A lot of you know what is hitting the fan. And that's not just an American expression. There are things that are happening. You know, there's a lot of pushback and these are the things, upsetting the apple cart, okay? Along with this masculine energy, there's a lot of trigger energy, okay? Does the universe have to trigger you? Hell yeah, because the universe will trigger you if you're not getting it or picking up on your clues. The entire universe will trigger things up and get you moving on it. But this can be intense. It can include emotions that feel petty, jealous, jealousy, vindictive, retaliatory, envious. And again, petty, 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 petty. You know, those kind of things where people are road raging and, and somehow some impulse in you is like, I'll show them. Guess what? The You know what is hitting the fan about this stuff? pause yourself don't give in to it don't take the bait but to help you with this because you may feel like the universe is handing you lemons okay are you being handed lemons is it sour is it bitter is it something that like you're just like i'm very upset now i didn't expect this at this point now i've got to deal with it okay let's make some lemonade for four days, we're going to be making lemonade from the 7th till the 10th. We are going to incorporate August 8th, which officially is the actual official Lion's Gate, right? What is still happening in your Venus retrograde? Because even though it's over, it ain't over until it's over. I'll tell you what happened in mine. Three significant people that I was involved with. Pretty much, you know, they were like... Uh, put on my path, I should say. 
And here's the amazing thing. And here's what you have to do. If you don't want your exes to feel like they trigger you, do the twin flame body work that I teach. Here's what I felt. Irrelevant. They're completely irrelevant to my life. Now, that might have been to see that I actually achieved karmic resolution. But here's the other thing about retrogrades. People are going to try because they want to go back to old stuff. Why? Because their apple cart is getting upset. One of them is having troubles. One of them is having financial troubles. One of them is having marital troubles because they remarried. Not my problem. But see, a lot of people think that they have to engage it. No, you don't. No, you don't. So what's triggering you? Here's what we're going to cover over four days in my four-day workshop. We're going to do twin flame breath because that is very different than just breathing exercises. We're not going to do this. Okay. We're not doing that. That's yoga breath. You need to breathe in such a way where it feels like your twin is right here breathing with you on this journey, keeping the you-know-what of hitting you and hitting your fans, so to speak. We're going to talk about and uncover what are the inner clues of what's happening here, what's happening on the other side. If you want to learn how to wake up your twin, join my classes because you are going to glean quite a bit of not just information, but sensations, feelings, messages. That's what I specialize in. And believe it because... We've been doing this for a while and you don't have to, here's what I say to people because people get really confused. They're, they're like, well, isn't this a spiritual, you have to be proactive with anything that involves your spirit. Your spirit is there to like amplify the good stuff, the good love, the good direction, the good doors opening. Of course it is. Your light body is equipped to use the divine connections. So on day two, we're going to cover what are you feeling? And we're also going to talk about, you know, what, what parts of the life need addressing, okay? What parts of life, okay? What are they giving up? So some of the common things are, do they have an addiction? Do they need help opening a door? Do you need them to help open a door for you? Is it financial things? Okay. A lot of boxes might be checked, but we got to start from somewhere. Let's start with one thing in all your foundational stuff. Day three, we are going to talk about, you know, how do you do this? How do you get your twin into action? I'll give you one word, emulate. And we're going to dig on this. And on that fourth day, okay, for this Lionsgate energy, we're going to go over this in a few details so that you feel confident that moving forward through the rest of this retrograde, there's several overlapping retrogrades, okay? The Lionsgate is firing it up, okay? This is some fiery energy, Things are going to catch on fire. And, you know, I, I wanted to say when I heard a few things last week, like what is wrong with the masculine? What is wrong with men? Well, what's wrong is essentially they're disconnected. We have a situation here in one of the suburbs where a tree trimmer was shot by a man, an elderly man, because the voices told him to. Okay. The masculine energy, if you love someone who is masculine, and I don't care who it is, if you want to keep them on track, do this work because this work works to get people up and away from those levels where it is. Are you crazy? No, you're not crazy. But there's still a lot of crazy going on. So I hope you join us. Please check the links below. We are here to help you. And we would like to see people successful and not squander the time. Use your time wisely. There's a morning segment. There's an evening segment. You can do it after work. You could do it in the morning. 
Thanks so much and hope to see you there. Have a good day. Bye.